Now, will everyone please rise for the academic procession?
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing and welcome Cal State LA student Rachel Schlenz, who will perform our national anthem accompanied by the Cal State LA Brass Ensemble. Please be seated. Good afternoon, students, honored family members and friends. I'm Jim Goodrich, Dean of the College of Business and Economics here at Cal State Los Angeles. Welcome to the 2017 commencement ceremony. I'm glad you're here. I've been glad to serve as, glad your family and your friends are here, and uh, I'm certainly happy to serve as your dean during a time of such great growth and significant accomplishment for our faculty, our college, and our university. Over the course of your academic career, our faculty, administration, and staff have focused their expertise on your success. They become your mentors, and for many of you, your colleagues. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge and thank California State University Trustee Jorge Reyes Salinas, Chair of the Academic Senate, Vina Prabhu, members of the faculty, emeriti, faculty and staff representing the university's six colleges, the John F. Kennedy Memorial Library and administration for their contributions. Let's give them a round of applause for their contributions to our students' success. These members of the community, please stand and be recognized. Faculty, staff, emeriti, thank you. These are the people that got you through this. <laughs> and now, please be seated. Well, I'd like to have you join me in welcoming the president of California State University of Los Angeles, William A. Covino. President Covino. Well, congratulations, class of 2017. This, uh, this year is a special year for Cal State LA, not only because we are awarding degrees to you, but also because this is our 70th anniversary as a university. So this year, we're looking back on seven decades of student success, and we're looking forward to the future that you are going to create. This is a commencement, which means it is a new beginning. We are commencing into the future, and we're looking forward to the new beginnings that you are going to chart for us. A lot has changed in 70 years. Cal State LA's first graduating class wouldn't recognize student life today. 
They graduated in 1948, and there were only seven of them. Those seven could not find their friends on Instagram or Snapchat because there was no Instagram or Snapchat. They didn't even have, if you can believe this, they did not even have Facebook or Twitter. Some of you are on social media right now, right? I can see you. Yeah. There were no smartphones then, no iPads. Siri wasn't even born yet. And what baffles me the most is how students at that time were able to write their papers without the use of Wikipedia. Just just wouldn't work. For all those 70 years, Cal State LA graduates have gone on to do amazing things in spite of, because of, the times in which they lived. You will do the same. Your generation will build, imagine, create, design, discover, write, and innovate the next big thing that will change our world. The mind that will create the next Google, Facebook, Amazon, Uber, stem cell technology, or produce the next Hamilton is sitting out here today. Today, you become a Cal State LA alumnus. You join the ranks of more than 240,000 alumni of Cal State LA, over 3 million alumni of the California State University system. We have alumni that include tennis legend Billie Jean King, congressional leaders Maxine Waters and Lucille Roybal Allard, astronaut Samuel T. Durantz, international business leader Isaac Larian, the fire chief of Los Angeles, Ralph Terrazas, the director of the John Wayne Airport, Barry Rondinella, Adriana Ocampo of NASA, Danielle Aries, who is with the Los Angeles Clippers, Dr. Sumanta Paul, the co-director of the Kidney Cancer Program and Medical Oncology at City of Hope Hospital. We also include our, among our alumni the members of the family that owns Gavinia Coffee and the members of the family that owns Porto's Bakery. They are our most popular alums, judging from the response that I've been getting to mentioning their names. But these people all become today your fellow alums. So you are all ambassadors. Through you, the world will see the character, the fierce drive, and the intellect that define Cal State LA. And you will need all that you've learned and experienced to make your way in the world. You are graduating during a time of great uncertainty. For some of you, changes since November have had a very personal impact, and the future can seem unclear. But our commitment to you and to the students who follow you is absolutely clear. As you graduate, as you graduate I will say once again what I've communicated since the election last fall. Cal State LA is a richly diverse community that values and supports all students. You are all golden eagles, and you all will soar. You are the ones who will lead this nation to a bright future. You'll use your Cal State LA education, your compassion, your commitment to engagement, service, and the public good you will build on the advances of earlier generations. This weekend, Saturday, Sunday, today, 6,000 students will become graduates of Cal State LA. That class includes 119 veterans who have served our nation with valor and then returned to earn a degree. Do we have veterans who are graduating today here with us? If so, stand and let us recognize you. There they are. Congratulations. Thank you very much for your service. And you, class of 2017, you are the first class to graduate since the university returned 
to the semester calendar. I'm hearing a mix. I'm hearing a mix. Through the transition, through changes and challenges, you persevered. And of course, you didn't accomplish this goal on your own and not for yourself alone. You did it for those you love, and their devotion is a big element of your success. So it is time for us to applaud the mothers and fathers who are here with us today. Mothers and fathers, would you stand? Let us recognize you. There they are. Grandmothers and grandfathers, join them. Aunts and uncles. Sisters and brothers. Nieces and nephews. Spouses and children. And all the rest of the friends of the class of 2017. Thank you all for your support and the many ways you helped to make this day possible for your graduate. Cal State LA is, as you know, a rich intellectual community. Here you've been supported by a staff that cares deeply about your success, your well-being. You've learned from and been mentored by distinguished faculty in a nationally renowned college who are experts in their fields They've taught you to bring new perspectives, fresh ideas, and high ambitions. The College of Business and Economics is home to the Center for Entrepreneurship and Innovation, which hosts events that include Entrepreneurship Week and the annual Fast Pitch Competition. This center is a key mechanism to help Cal State LA startups and businesses get off the ground. And your college is home to a career placement center that puts students in careers and internships with partners that include the Creative Artist Agency, Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Boeing, Disney, Southern California Edison, and Pepsi. In the College of Business and Economics, students learn to succeed and excel in the business world, but they also learn the importance of service to others. Richa Edlabadkar became a dentist to connect with and improve the lives of her patients. She decided to study health care management here to strengthen her ability to help others. At Cal State LA, Richa has demonstrated the meaning of engagement, service, and the public good. She volunteers with the American Red Cross. On campus, she serves as a peer health educator with the Student Health Advisory Committee. She volunteers with the Center for Student Involvement and with EPIC, the Educational Participation in Communities Program. At the seventh annual International Research Exchange and Faculty Development Conference in Hong Kong, Richa won a video competition with a project that aims to assist people with mental health issues in Southern California. Today, Richa graduates with a Master of Science in Healthcare Management. She, live, she leaves here equipped to fulfill her goal, improving the lives of others, and we know that she will do great things. Richa, congratulations. There she is. Our university is filled with students like these who have a story to tell of inquiry and discovery and life-changing breakthroughs, some setbacks, many successes. This is what it means to be a graduate of the premier comprehensive university in Los Angeles. This year, Cal State LA earned nationwide acclaim for its success in propelling graduates into better lives. We are ranked number one in the nation for the upward mobility of our students. No other university anywhere does a better job of transforming low-income students into high-income earners. And that is good news for our graduates and for their families, because it means parents, 
that you can expect to see a return on your investment. So class of 2017, as you move forward into the next chapter of your life, hold fast to the values and principles that brought you to this moment. You are the creators of your destiny. And that realization is the beginning of the best part that lies ahead. You have persevered. You have succeeded. Congratulations, class of 2017. Thank you, President Covino. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker. Luis Patino is a senior vice president and general manager of Univision Local Media Los Angeles. At Univision Communications, the leading media company serving Latinos in the United States. Univision Local Media controls 128 local television and radio stations. Mr. Patino is responsible for the day-to-day -day management of station operations, sales, news, marketing, and promotions in Los Angeles. Mr. Patino joined Univision in 1997 and has held multiple roles since then in his career, some of which he will talk about right now. Join me in welcoming Luis Patino. Thank you, Dean Goodrich and President Covino for having me. Good morning, students, parents, families, and faculty of California State University at Los Angeles. You made it. Yes, parents, you made it. You are the ones that have challenged, prodded, encouraged, pleaded, and in some cases threatened these students to push and persevere through all adversity all in order for them to be sitting here today as graduates. So congratulations to all of you parents and loved ones. As for the graduates, yes, you also made it. Passed one of the first of many hurdles in the rest of your life and career. And granted, it's definitely a big accomplishment, especially for those of you that are first in your families to graduate from university, and in your cases, with a graduate degree. I especially want to congratulate you and celebrate your huge accomplishments. As the saying goes, success only breeds success. Make sure that you keep the tradition going with your younger siblings and family members and that they also attend a university and get a higher degree. Students of the, of the School of Business and Economics, I stand before you here today not as a scholar of world economies, of financial institutions, or even as a corporate business executive. I really stand before you as a kid who grew up in Eagle Rock, not too far from here, and had the same dreams and aspirations as all of you sitting here today. Now, the rumor has it that your commencement team organizers actually tried to get a different speaker, a colleague of mine, someone you might know, named Jorge Ramos, or maybe Don Francisco, and while I'm sure they would have made for very interesting speakers, I have something that they don't. Neither one of them can claim to have been a student at Cal State Los Angeles and a Golden Eagle. And this is why I cannot even begin to tell you how honored I am to stand before you today as someone who has walked in your shoes. Yes, I am one of you. Today, I'd actually like to pay homage to my profession and to a career that has given me so much, in part because it's simply easier to just speak about something that you know and are extremely passionate about, but also because this summer marks my 20th year anniversary working in media and entertainment. In fact, all 20 years of my media career have been spent working for the same company, something that, as you know, is not fairly common these days. So class of 2017, you're graduating and will soon start jobs in various industries and in various capacities. My hope is that some of you are also venturing into entrepreneurship and looking to launch your own business venture. Either way, if I'm you, I would want to hear some career insights that I can apply immediately and others that I can use during those tough 
moments of crisis and indecision. Today I want to focus on a few aspects of my business life told through the lens of a 20-year career in media. How and why I ended up at Univision, how I've been able to last there for 20 years, and the present-day disruption of our industry and career. All the while highlighting six key le lessons in life. So how I got there. My parents, who still live here in, in Eagle Rock today, and whom I love dearly, were very hard-working small business owners who ran convenience stores targeting the Latino community of Los Angeles. If any of you have parents who have owned a small business, then you know the sacrifice that goes into entrepreneurship. You have also seen your parents wake up at the crack of dawn, seven days a week, and come home when you're already in bed. You also know that they would do it all over again. Why? so that you could have the best of what this country has to offer, a good education and a healthy upbringing. My parents didn't have to tell me. I knew that their sacrifice was so that my sister and I could have more, so that I could have the opportunities they only dreamed of. So early on, I knew I had to do and be more. I had this fire in my belly to be someone and something special. And to my mother's credit, she reminded me of that every single day, sometimes embarrassingly in front of friends and family. And she would tell me in Spanish, my love, I care for you so much. And I know you're going to be someone important and special. She seriously told me that, I think, every single day. I seriously started to believe it. And I still believe it to this day. So lesson number one. The support and encouragement that comes from our parents is fuel for the soul. Use it, remember it, and it will save you during the toughest of times. It was this aspirational upbringing and quest for more that inspired me to follow my dreams of working for a company that was purpose-driven and that helped our Latino community. To my great fortune, and thanks to the marketing and advertising professors here at Cal State LA, who saw that there would be a bright future for multicultural marketers, I realized that my path forward was really simply a reflection of my past. I had grown up on Spanish television, seven days a week, whether I wanted to or not. I, I also had to listen to Spanish language radio almost every day with my mother. And in a weird way, I fell in love with it. I liked novellas, the music and the award show, the glitz, the glamour, all of it. It was my version of Hollywood, Latino Hollywood. When I found out that I could actually work at Univision, my world opened up and I set my sights for it. In the summer of 1997, I applied for a position in advertising sales at the Univision offices in San Francisco, California. I had no idea what the job even entailed. I didn't have any context, no friends or family members in the media business, nobody to even ask what an advertising sales executive really does. So lesson number two, ignorance is bliss. And the younger you are, the more you can lean on this. Embrace your youthful ignorance, and as they say, shoot for the moon. Even if you miss, you may land among the stars. I got that job as a sales assistant. No experience in media, no clue what the job entailed or what I was doing. And now I had to tell my parents I was moving to San Francisco for a new job. So I worked up the courage, I told my parents, and off I was to the big city by the bay. A city that I would soon come to find out would shape me for the rest of my career and the rest of my life. Moving away from home in the city you have lived in for all of your life is tough. It's tough to divorce childhood friends. Not everyone can do it. Sometimes even parents have a hard time allowing their kids to move away. I have seen it. So lesson number three, leave the nest. Leave the nest. It opens your minds and your hearts to possibilities and worlds you, you did not even know existed. Moving to San Francisco and not knowing a soul was very hard, but such a blessing. It made me stronger. I learned to embrace diverse people, diverse cultures, religions, and even music. I matured and learned to appreciate what I had back home. Now, the job was tough. 
I knew they had taken a risk on me and my little knowledge of the media business. So there I was, working my butt off, in early, last one out, offering to work at every event on the weekends, anything that I could do to stand out and show my willingness to go above and beyond. Graduates, I work with a lot of young people, and I can tell you that not many of them are willing to work as hard as myself and some of my, my colleagues did back then. I suited up every morning as it was another job interview. My shirts were pressed. My shoes were shined. I got in early. Very seldom did I take a lunch, and I worked until very late into the evening. I may have not known that much about the media industry, but I sure as hell out-hustled all of them. And I get this whole work-life balance thing, I really do, but I'm telling you that some things in business never change and that the people at the top making the decisions place a lot more value on people they can trust to get the job done, are loyal, work hard, and are determined to win. It is doggy dog out there, and if you think it's not a competition, you are dead wrong. So if you need to leave early every day because Fluffy needs to be walked in the park, or because you might miss that 5 p.m. yoga class, or you tell your boss you can't work this weekend because you have tickets to Coachella, guess what? Maybe you shouldn't be graduating from the School of Business and Economics. So lesson four, Golden Eagles. Most of us here did not grow up in privileged households. We are not graduating from an Ivy League school. We don't have an aunt or an uncle that can hook us up. But we are gritty. We are scrappy. We may not have all the resources, but man, we are resourceful. And in the end, we get the job done. You will have to work harder than others to stand out above the crowd. I am telling you this from experience. So own it, embrace it. Work harder than your counterparts. Finish that project a day early, and while your buddies are out at happy hour, you will be writing your own destiny. For me, that hard work paid off early and often, as within two years I received a promotion and was off to my next role at Univision in San Diego, California. While in San Diego, I learned everything. I was a sponge. I also took big risks and found mentors that supported and promoted my work. After a successful six-year run in San Diego and two promotions, I returned back home to Los Angeles to oversee the largest advertising sales division in the country and work for Univision's flagship stations. There, I received another promotion that eventually led to an amazing opportunity, which was to run my own television stations in Austin, Texas. From Austin, I was elevated to a larger market in San Antonio and eventually promoted again to return to Los Angeles to oversee all of our media operations, not just sales, and that's where I am today. So lesson five, moving sucks. Just ask my wife and kids. But your willingness to relocate can be a real game changer for your career, especially if your company has a national footprint. Had I not moved to San Diego, I would not have been promoted to management so early in my career. Moving back to Los Angeles mid-career gave me the knowledge and the credibility to run my own television station. Moving to Austin gave me senior management access and the experience needed to run the San Antonio operation and eventually come back to Los Angeles to run the television and radio stations that I grew up watching and listening to with my parents. None of this would have happened had I not been willing to move and relocate. So how I made it through those 20 years. Throughout the years, one thing remained constant. My teams and I were successful. We hit our revenue goals. We delivered on key corporate KPIs and made the company lots of money. But if I had to pinpoint why people felt confident to keep promoting me into roles of high responsibility, it was because they knew two things about me. I would not let us fail. We may lose on occasion, but we don't fail. Golden Eagles from Cal State LA, we don't fail. It's not in our DNA. And secondly, I knew our mission, meaning I've always known that, the, that we work for the community. The viewers, the listeners, the people that made our company who it is. 
Univision was born to give a voice to the voiceless at a time in the 1950s when Hispanics in this country had very few advocates. And to this day, I have never forgotten that. The disruption. So here we are today in 2017, 20 years into it for me, and the industry that has given me so much is now being disrupted. Why? Because many people are not watching traditional television anymore. Many of you don't listen to radio in your cars anymore. And you spend all your time on the cell phones, like now, snapping and sharing and liking and checking your Instagram account, streaming YouTube videos, listening to your mood playlist on Spotify, and of course, texting. And it's not just traditional media that's being disrupted. At least, we're not taxi drivers becoming obsolete by Uber, or a hotel chain owner hurting because of Airbnb, or a retailer becoming irrelevant thanks to Amazon. Every industry, old and new, will be disrupted, and you need to be prepared for it. The days of being at the same company and in the same industry for long periods of time are probably over. I was lucky to find my passion early in my career and was fortunate that my hard work kept me there. But now, I too am at a crossroads. I must re-examine if a business industry that I love and cherish will survive in its current form and for how long. Am I skilled and equipped to reinvent myself and still flourish in the age of new media? Do I really want to go work for a tech company and be like Robert De Niro in the movie The Intern? And have to wear skinny, tight jeans and flannel shirts and grow a beard? I don't know, that's probably not me. So lesson number six, and the last one I have for you today. Keep learning and always stay curious. I have always been interested in forward-looking digital technologies, in developing a culture of innovation, of leadership development both for myself and my teams, in testing the boundaries of our abilities. And now all of these attributes will be essential to redefining the future of Univision and my future as an executive. You have to keep learning. You don't ever want to be disrupted out of a job. You have to stay curious because even after a successful 20-year track record, nothing is guaranteed and nothing is forever. So class of 2017, go work your butts off. Stand out above the crowd. Always shoot for the moon. Remember what your parents told you. Be open to new experiences in life and in love. Keep learning always. Stay scrappy. Find the job that you love and trust me, you will never work another day in your life. Thank you. Thank you, Luis. Good words, good lessons. Among the students today earning baccalaureate degrees are those who will graduate with academic honors. Dr. Edward Shea, Professor of Economics and Statistics in the College of Business and Economics and our Associate Dean will acknowledge these students. Dr. Shea. Thank you. The university grants the baccalaureate degree with Latin designations, summa cum laude, magna cum laude, or cum laude, to students who have completed at least 45 units in residence and attained a grade point average that ranks them within the top 10% of their college. These students wear gold braids draped on their black gowns to mark their outstanding academic achievements. With the candidates for graduation with honors, please rise and be recognized. Please be seated. Now it is my pleasure to introduce the Chief Academic Officer of the University, Dr. Lee Mahoney, Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Mohani. Good afternoon. 
President Covino, I present to you the candidates for degrees in the College of Business and Economics. They have met all of the requirements for their respective degrees and are recommended by the university faculty who taught them. The recipients for the Master of Arts and Master of Science, all of you from the College of Business and Economics will now be hooded and presented on the stage. Master of Arts in Economics. Alina Segalas Gurkospa. Nazgul Maki. Anna Hobsgosian. Amy Catherine Mahler. Barbara Wong. Katie Ann Hernandez. Yutrio Chimbatar. Master of Science, Business Administration. Flor Anaya. Master of Business Administration, Business Administration. George Foley. Chun Fu. Hirsch Deep Gill. Amandeep Singh. Priya Sharma. Nafel Morchid. Christine Savanali Korvdevi. Mauricio Cifuentes. Sestina Natas Hogger. Brian Alexander Vargas. Jose Sanchez. Young Mei Bian. Sha Xing Liu. Rochelle Toriyama. Xiao Bai Li. Ida Locke. Oyen Lam. Maria D. Garcia. Gustavo Lozano Jr. Julio Andres Rendon. Gustavo Najera Jr. Vaishal Nirao Dalal. Jeffrey Wayne Theodores. April Lynn Giddens. 
Janvi Garupasad Reggae. Divya Krishna Murthy. Sharis Raran Shavrovin. Vahid Hagani. Sajeje Moshi. Jay Liang. Antoine Dimitri Cooper. David Hernandez Sotomayor. Eduardo Ramirez. Alicia Garcia. Alejandro Carl. Master of Science, Accountancy. Irvin Gonzalez. Wang Ling Yu Zeng. Kino Zeng. Ying Lu Feng. Tianpan Li. Chan Ji Kai. Yun Jae Li. Tian Gang Wang. Chang Lu. Jia Wan Zhang. Wang Zhao. Annie Bergamanian. Maggie Her. Master of Science, Healthcare Management. Luzine Ter Augustian. Karina Marisol Romero. George Alberto Esquivel. Laura Yvette Hernandez. Anna Sofia Linares. Julie Bautista. Annie Elizabeth Wiltzer. R.P. Shamirsian. J. Michael Gonzalez Martinez. Victoria Trang Trong. Tanya Caribbean. Carla Lee Salmon. Krisa Servu. Amani Alabsi. Athena Marie Abujabar. Mirna Mabel Lopez. Harthik Shah. Yvette Deanda. Guadalupe Valdez Esquivel. Greta Ramanarayan. Richa Edla Bakar. Joel Torres Jr. Peter Van. Sally Trung. Yachi Ann Fails. Sevana Anna Kashishian.
Marlene Rosa Mendoza. Alfredo de Guzman Bitang the third. Rudy Anthony Vidales. Ariana Ayala. Jeanette Evelyn Ortega. Brandon Lee. Master of Science, Information Systems. Anna Maria Montes. Richa Kankarej. Aditya Verma. Farhan Abdul Mahesanya. Rohit Kotpoli. Priya Ashutosh Mystery. Nachikit Vehe Parab. Atindar Paul Singh. Ishan Favadia. Shubendu Sharma. Vasant Naviar. Shirali Samibai Shah. Aniket Sansio Shashabade. Vijaya Lakshmi Sandeep Patil. Priyanka Rabshadra Kill. Daniel Rajaju. Ruben Ocean. Niral Mansuk Mikadia. Piani Pratik Pushkumar. Lalit Shaudari. Jyoti Patti. Abhishek Kumar Gupta. Ravi Badana. Krishna Marvanya. Priya Nimesh Mystery. Nishant Gupta. Hitesh Jagtap. Akshay Ahirao. Anurag Anad. Mona Lisa Chaure. Pramdeep Parasa. Sumani Pirikiti. Spriha Batar. Hasita Reddy Pitu. Ravi Tisha Sotanani. Tai Tejaswi Taluru. Ashi Khan. Harshi Patel. Siddhanath Nitin Dalvi. Darmesh Soni. Shashek Nabadio Janete. Apexit Bingardiwe. Akash Gandhi. Manik Katyal. Sharuba Wai. Yes. 
Ishika Singh. Rohit Shirat. Devang Sharma. Satyam Singh. Kunal Pritwani. Jopandink Singh Mahal. Jigurt Kunai Patel. Siddharth Gandhi. Virei Shanipat. Segai Kumar Lakardiam. Kiran Kumar ready, Tikam ready. Ijaj Ahmed Shiak. Aditya Patil. Elkin Nagyev. Gutam Kumar Pola. Monika Valabanene. Sridhar Reddy Puli. Zuzil Koa. Pragati Patapu. Shushubu Desi. Alicia Mundaden. Vashinavi Kanchala. Akshay Kumar. Congratulations. The traditional moving of the tassel is a special moment in the commencement ceremony. After all the degrees have been conferred, President Covino will lead the baccalaureate candidates in the moving of the tassel. The candidates for the baccalaureate degrees will now be presented on stage. Bachelor of Arts in Economics. Dushan Samad Carter. Arun Sapra. Rosario Patricia Nicho. Sarabina Eris. Reyes Alexander Barrera. Christina Ibarra. Eric Andrew Vignet. Steven Josue Sainz. Salvador Briseño. Timothy Ken Tsai. Matthew Rico Sanchez. Robert Michael Estrada. And Keith Ricky Vin Win. Bachelor of Science, Computer Information Systems. Sammy Alam Nobel. Kachatur Aristakasian. 
Rex Camacho. Terry Van. Everett Ching Chun Lee. Jan Edward Dodon. Ravneet Singh. Vincent Brandon Munoz. Giovanni Arcadio Herrera. Darling New. Darla New. Jermaine Edwin Subia. Ivan Emmanuel Anaya. Corey Nicole Cowan. Jason Ulysses Jimenez. Michael J. Musa. Norvik Abdalian. Wenji Wu. Adam Joseph Gerardo. Rakim Marcel Harrell. David Rene Sayad. Mark Anthony Negrete. Christopher Sun Maglains Yano. James Jordan Trocino Maturan. Kyle Alexis De La Rama Acuna. Richard Diaz. Dexter Galvez. Michael Cocon. Alan Martinez. Lawrence Gallegos Montgomery. Eric Farias. Jason Vong. Andy True Tren. Raymond V. Lam. Raymond V. Lam. Kevin Guiambo Gozan. Nelson C. Sin. June Su Song. Kevin Zhao. Julio Rojas. Edgar Minasian. Jose Nahira Cruz. Manuel Gomez. Javier Rios. Michael Lee. Yo Hee Wong. Diana Angeline Simpson. Marissa Ion. Blanca Leticia Linares. Ashley Perez. Martin Covarrubias. Philip Win Dong. Johnny Lee Win. Diane Vargas Castineos. Henry Alberto Acevedo. Theodoro Cruz. Juan Gerardo Morales Jr. Richard John Mankis. Jacob Resho. Jose Luis Mendoza Jr. Carolina Rivero, Rivera. Kacha Selbeck. Henry Emilio Chamorro. Dependra Subedi.
Diego Mota. Giancarlo Giomani. Sergio Méndez. Kyo Jian Lin. Erwin Hernández. Oshin Hashgarjian. Juan Flores. Neha Qureshi. Harutun Sepetian. Sean Tank. Meher Kechadori. Irvin Tran Win. Michael Thomas Mendoza Reyes. Andrew Wang. Leslie H. Pitts III. Jeremy Alexander Mortley. Okay, we've got a little more to do here. Will the candidates for master's degrees please rise for the conferral of your degrees? By the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations. And we're going to have you sit while the baccalaureate candidates rise. All right, baccalaureate candidates, by the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the baccalaureate degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Now, the tassel goes from the right to the left. Congratulations. Now let's have the entire class of 2017, please stand. You are now all proud alumni of Cal State LA. Congratulations, class of 2017. Excellent. I'd also like to thank all of the university staff, faculty, students, and volunteers involved in organizing this 2017 commencement ceremony and acknowledge the members of the Honors Convocation and Commencement Advisory Committee. Let's give them a round of applause. They're putting on this show. And so that you may have time with your professors, advisors, and family, and take some pictures and celebrate, I would encourage you to follow after the procession uh, out of the event to up the walkway to Simpson Tower. We set up a backdrop there in the plaza so you can take pictures and enjoy time with your family and professors. There'll be staff outside of the arena here to, in the Business and Economic Church to guide you to the open area near Simpson Tower. At this time, the university hymn will be performed by Cal State LA student Rachel Schlenz, who will be accompanied by the Cal State LA Brass Ensemble. The lyrics can be found inside of your program.
la orquesta tenga llegado. 